Hi, my name is Sarah Larry Appel, and I'm presenting my uh, asymmetric information and financial problem presentation. And it's something to do about our um, economics 2408 money and, man and banking course. Now, as to the asymmetric information, a financial problem, uh, there are two types, um, adverse selection and moral hazard. Adverse selection is something to do with the information that being kept before the transaction happened. And moral hazard is the opposite, is the information that are no only known right after the transaction happened. And, uh, uh, this type of asymmetric information, especially adverse selections, are mostly, uh, or I would say, happen quite a bit with uh, um, uh, markets uh, trading, market, marketable securities. Uh, uh, especially, uh, I picked the cryptocurrency marketable securities since uh, in the last year. There's quite a bit of change with the um, the, the prices. As you can see here, uh, there is like uh, in last year, uh, the Bitcoin uh, is was trading for sixty five thousand at the highest, but this time uh, this is this year or this uh, this today or I would say uh, is trading around twenty three thousand three hundred and eighteen. Um, or I would say this is the most recent price that I have recorded. Um, also, um, and even with the Ethereum, uh, same thing. Uh, there's quite a bit of difference with the prices. Uh, so uh, yeah, there is definitely an asymmetric information, uh, specifically adverse selections. Now, as to uh, the negative effects on economy and business, um, yeah, for sure, uh, you know, the asymmetric information is considered as a problem in economic growth because uh, if uh, if there's no, not enough um, efficient information out there, uh, if they have this uh, so-called lemon problems in stock markets and bond markets, uh, not enough uh, efficient information to for investors to make the right decision buying uh, uh, stocks and, and bonds, and uh, because of that, this, this thing happens, they, they lose quite a bit of money, and uh, uh, as you notice, uh, the cap their capital just went down as uh, as low as 90% uh, percent for some, and so, uh, yeah, the, the moral hazard, it's definitely a fact that, the, you know, the debt and equity contracts as well, um, um also uh these two uh asymmetric information uh, types have infected the financial development and economic growth of um, our economy and our financial markets now as to uh, proper regulations and policies to prevent financial crimes um government can do something with their regulation increase information out there for investors uh, 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 um, I would say uh, there should be some kind of licensing certifications and memberships and meeting standards. Also, companies who are selling shares should have some kind of segregation of duties in the company and even with their record keeping, authorization of transaction and custody of assets to avoid some kind of illegal uh, uh, insider trainings. Um, which uh, uh, asymmetric information is uh, very common. Uh, also, uh, there should be some kind of monitoring as well, uh, regular audit or review of common financial statements and operational activities of the companies. Now, as to uh, my thoughts and uh, remarks about the problem in, the money, uh, in money and financial markets, uh, I would say um, this, this is not totally a loss for investors. Uh, uh, it, there's, there's no such thing as not gaining any benefits, even if it, it wasn't, uh, you didn't 
gain something out. In fact, you learn something out of it. I always believe that uh, in any situation, you learn something out from it, and so that in the next time you want, you know, you, you can avoid those uh, problems and situations. And, or minimize your losses. So uh, there's some strategies in dealing with asymmetric information and uh, that would be uh, um, relying on efficient information. Um, uh, those are real information that you can, you know, investor can base their uh, trading practices and they can at least uh, make sure that they can minimize their losses and they can actually maximize their gains. Uh, there's a cryptocurrency is not just the only one that they can invest to. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's um, as the, we learned from this uh, cryptocurrency trading uh, from last years and this year that there's no such thing like uh, uh, for some maybe I, I should be say more you know all but I'm sure some people have made or investors have made a lot of money for when they would cash in their uh, uh, their uh, their investments in during times when the, the, the cryptocurrency are the highest uh, prices. But for those that lost money, um, there's always some other uh, in, you know uh, um, securities that you can uh, invest to. Um, also, uh, dealing with the, that one of those strategies can be dealing with inflation while building. Uh, well, over time, um, maybe it can be uh, tax savings or uh, getting some uh, expert advice from professionals and also diversifying your portfolio, knowing how to manage your funds. And also uh, um, there's some tools uh, in, uh, in dealing with the uh, um, problems with money and financial market. and. Uh, uh, they just you just have to go out there and find them and even if you have to educate yourself like myself uh, I, you know going to school is, is, is a plus for me I learned a lot uh, besides the things that I read on my own and um, and for, uh, for my professor's request of giving, him a one thing that we we'll learned from our class, uh, economics 308. I learned a lot uh, being in an accounting background. I enjoy every day that I uh, I, I sit there and, and listen to my professor and um, learning about finance, money and banking, and especially the uh, asymmetric information. Um, it's, uh, I, 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 I enjoy every minute of it because uh, it's, it's something to do with money and we need money to, as a tool to, uh, to provide for daily activities and uh, necessities. Uh, and uh, I think that's it for now. And thank you very much. And uh, if you have some uh, inquiry, I have posted my email, my school email and my own email. Thank you.